Hey YouTube, what is up? We are back with a brand new video and today I want to discuss the iPod Touch 4th generation that is in front of me right now and what's special about this one is it's actually on iOS 4.1, the very first version that it shipped with back in 2010. So the iPod Touch 4 came out in, like I said, 2010, uh, featuring Apple's A4 processor and 256 megabytes of RAM. Um, it also added a front-facing and rear-facing cameras and a new, less curvy design than the previous iPod Touch 3rd generation. It also removed the well, Wi-Fi antenna from the back and overall was a major upgrade. Um, the Retina display and many other things. It was just a great device and one of the most popular devices at the time. I remember seeing them like everywhere, but so um, we're gonna be talking about if this thing, this iPod Touch 4 from 2010 guys, is even usable on iOS 4.1 in 2019. I mean, we're on iOS 12, iOS 13 is gonna be June 3rd, we're gonna get the first developer beta. I mean, this is old, this is just really old. And uh, I'm surprised I even managed to get one of these. It was brand new and I got it, shouldn't have never opened it, but, um, so yeah, so it's in pretty much perfect condition. I'd probably protect it more because there's no screen protector and I just have it in this kind of cheap um, silver case just to protect the back from scratching because it's, you know, otherwise in pretty good condition. I mean, it's a couple scratches, but... Um, so yeah, the time is actually wrong. It is not 5.27 a.m. Um, and I noticed that a lot with this because it's been dead. I actually charged it up last night. You have to manually um, change the date and time like a lot so it's kind of annoying i mean yeah see it's pretty uh if we set date and time i can set the date and time but you have to and see it's even preset to thursday january 1st 1970 so that is not accurate but um so yeah this app touch is on ios 4.1 and it's look at this there's like no settings here and compared to what we have now uh if we go to about you guys can see right here ios 4.1 8b118 and you know the old status bar look and everything it's real it's really interesting guys um it, this it's just an like such an old device it's dead most of the time and uh so when it comes to what you can even use this for you can definitely use it for music that is definitely i know people that use first gen touches even second and third gens because they have so much music on them and that's one of the things that an iPod was meant to do is really a music player and you can definitely do it with this. You can definitely play music, have a ton of music on it depending on the storage configuration. Uh, this is a 64 gig so I could have a lot of music on here. I mean, I don't, but um, I could. And just use this as a music driver instead of my phone. And so um, you cannot, re this is not a good gaming device. Uh, I actually managed to even find one game um, called Solar Warfare on the App Store that supported iOS 4.1. And also the issue is with this is you actually had to get an older version of it because it still doesn't truly support iOS 4.1. So you had to get an older version. Um, let's try to open it up here. It's very slow, no matter how light this game may be. Um, so don't expect to be playing any games on this. Um, so, okay, so it looks like we can actually play here, but yeah, so it's pretty slow. You can see the animations are pretty laggy. Um, but again, do not expect to be getting away with games on this. If we go and just tap a level here. Yeah, as you can see, I was really kind of seeing how this gameplay is. Let's, so if you go into the game, all right, so we'll see. Let's let it load. So, as you guys can see, it's uh, it's actually not that bad, and I'll be honest with you, calibrate this. Um, it's not that bad, it's pretty smooth, um, especially for a nine-year-old device on nine-year-old software. Um, you know, as you can see, kind of turning okay, and the animations are nice. The little gun here, it looks like it's shooting pretty nicely. Shoot like a missile that looks pretty good. Um, and yeah, so the animations are pretty good, uh, as you guys can see. And so, again, you gotta keep in mind this is also nine year old hardware and software. So, regardless, it's still pretty good. Battery life um, is a lot better in iOS 6. I gotta be honest. Um, using iOS 6.6 .6 and or 6 in general on an iPod Touch 4 generation seems to kill the battery. 
and now on iOS 4.1, this battery has lasted, um, I, I gotta be honest with you, the standby time was phenomenal. I just kind of left it, just left the device charged up and just put it somewhere and left it there. And I think it was like over a week and the battery wasn't even, it was just about halfway. Um, so that's pretty good for, you know, the, the age of this device and... So I'm not complaining about that. If you're going to use this for music or anything, you can expect maybe if you have it in your car or something, throw it in your car and let it go. But iOS 6, if you have an iPod Touch 4 and iOS 6 that you're going to use for music, you might want to have a car charger with you or just the cord, you know, charge it in your car, some type of portable charger. Um, now, the camera quality is really bad. I mean, it's really... Don't be expecting to take pictures of this. This thing is, I mean, blurry, like... And I understand that this is through another camera too, so it's not going to look as, you know, good as it would. But even in real life, this thing is really fuzzy, blurry, and it's just not, the colors are not accurate. Um, so, back in the day, this was good. Actually, back in the day, this was really good. Um, it wasn't, still wasn't the greatest, but it was pretty good back in the day. And, you know, you could take pictures with it, and it would be high qual considered high quality then. And, you know, I'd always see people taking selfies and stuff. The selfie cam, let's not even get started on that. Um, so iOS 4.1 didn't even have notification center, so there is no notification center. Of course, iOS 7 introduced the control center, so there is no control center for an iOS 4. Um, you do have spotlight search, and um, so that's one thing, you know, yay. Um, but you, we do have a lot less apps than number one nowadays, but also on like iOS 6 even, we have some uh, apps missing. So in iOS 4.1, we have, we do have FaceTime, but that's of course, FaceTime and camera are only available on the Apple Touch 4th generation, um, if you're on iOS 4 at least. Um, calendar, photos, you know, we have YouTube. This is when we had YouTube, which was removed in iOS 6. We have that in iOS 5, but it doesn't work. So if we try and open up YouTube, it does not work. Um, so you cannot, can, uh, cannot connect to YouTube. And if we try and search something, it does not work. Ooh. It's actually very hard to type on this. Yes, yeah, so this is a um, 3.5 inch retina display. So it's um, even smaller than like an iPhone SE or 5S or 5. So, you know, you're not getting that four inch display. So holding this is really weird. Um, but yeah, see, you can connect. There is nothing here that you can do um, other than brag to your friends. You're like, haha, this, look at this. I bet you don't remember this. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, it doesn't work. So, you know, we got stocks. Uh, I'm pretty sure stocks does work. Yeah, you can check the stocks and it's pretty up to date. Um, so that's, uh, pretty good you know you can at least check your stocks yeah maps doesn't work that well but it still works regardless weather uh let's see i don't actually know if weather works. yeah i was gonna say it probably does work cupertino um new york so um notes uh, of course works uh although you don't have icloud in ios 4.1 we did not have icloud that was not introduced until ios 5 so don't expect to be transferring notes or actually anything pretty much and over to your de like device with iCloud, uh, especially music. Music uh, you can probably, you can do through iTunes, however. So it's not that big of a deal, you know. If you have iCloud music on iTunes, you can just hook this up to iTunes and um, transfer the music from there. Now this iPod Touch does have a headphone jack. Well, I mean all of them do, but uh, so it has a 30 pin connector. So that means that you're gonna have to use a 30 pin connector to USB. And this was the charging cable type until the iPhone 5 released in 2012 until it introduced the lightning. So the eight pin lightning connector. Um, and it only works with one side, so. How, of course, you can always get an adapter, um, but this is this one is uh, 30 pin to lightning, so it does not work. But 30 pin would go in here and lightning, so if you plan on switching devices, if you're going to use this as like a main music device in a car, 
you could all and some maybe your phone's battery's low. You could just grab one of these from somewhere, um, and throw it on the charger and plug your phone in. So yeah, um, it's it's pretty useful, very useful actually. Um, but so back to the iPod Touch four. So email does work now. Mailing is very. Um, I wouldn't recommend it because number one, the keyboard, the keyboard is very tight and like, how do you type on this kind of, um, so it's, I have a lot of things to say about this keyboard. I mean, when 3.5 inch phones, oops, sorry, that was my watch. When 3.5 inch phones were new at the time. This was like, you know, you everybody would be like this, it'd be perfect, you know. And then when four inch phones came out, so you had a little bit more room, it wasn't that even that much more. But with the design, you get that curved grip on the side, so it's still different, even than you know, an iPhone 5 or SE or 5S because so you're holding it like this, oops, you're holding it like this, and you have the curved design, so you kind of rounded. Right, it's you're holding it's just a weird position to hold it in while typing. Um now when we talk about specs, performance, I want to say this thing actually performs pretty well on IS 4.1. Um you can't I can't run any benchmarks because there's no benchmarking tools available for IS 4.1 that I know of at least. Geekbench doesn't even support 32-bit devices anymore. Um and Antutu does not just definitely doesn't work. Um I'm thinking of a few others off the top of my head that will not work with iOS 4.1. And don't expect many apps too, because again, 2010 software, 2010 hardware, um, you're not going to get, you're going to get what you're paying for, which is maybe, I don't know, an iPad Touch 4 is probably like $25 to $50. I mean, come on, it's, it's old, it's old. Um, so other than music and I guess music actually, well, I, you could play some videos too on here. Um, I'm assuming that if you have enough storage for, you know, some movies or something, you could actually get away with that. Um, I've seen people, I see people do that still and it doesn't look that bad actually. It's not like laggy or anything. And since the old videos app, of course, it's going to be, um, you're going to be able to do that off the Wi-Fi. So, or when you're off Wi-Fi, I should say. Um, so definitely if you're looking for a cheap device to just have a ton of music on you could easily grab one of these again for like 25 50 dollars uh it doesn't matter what ios version it's on but maybe preferably not ios 4.1 because that would actually raise the price a lot because it's, this is really rare um i've only seen a very i've actually maybe seen one other video on youtube about an ipod touch 4 and ios 4.1 uh this isn't even jailbroken i didn't jailbroke this this came out of the box about a year or two ago with iOS 4.1, so um, it's really cool, and you know it's nostalgic too, and it just it's great. Honestly, I love messing around with this thing. Uh, it's a 64 gig model. I can't show you because I don't want to take the case off, but um, the speaker quality is pretty bad. So if you are gonna get this for music, I highly recommend using an auxiliary cord for to connect to your car. This does support Bluetooth, so you could actually connect to Bluetooth in your car. If you go down here, it's right here in general when it used to be in general and you just turn bluetooth on and um so or use earbuds because you have you have earbuds for oh, can't get a grip on this um so you know i rec recommend using anything other than its own speaker because it's very chunky um and it's not the greatest so um yeah, so if you want music player, definitely look at maybe even newer iPod Touches or phones or something. Don't even go for a fourth gen iPod Touch if you have like the extra money. Get something maybe a little bit better. Uh, so maybe you can do a few extra things with it. Um, and of course, in general, the answer to is an iPod Touch 4 with an iOS 4.1 usable in 2019. Like I said, since it would be perfect for a ton of music, then yes, in that matter, a ton of music and some videos, yes, it is usable. Now, if you're talking about, if you are that person that's looking to maybe do a ton of internet 
or web browsing, watch YouTube videos, um, take photos, you know, and expect good or at least decent photos and maybe some games, lightweight or even heavy, then that this is not the answer to go at all. And for many reasons, even iOS 6 and iPad 4 and iOS 6 is slower, but also the battery life is even worse. And on top of that, um, iOS 6 is barely even supported anymore. If not, it's really few, very few things that actually support iOS 6, let alone iOS 4.1. So, um, if you guys are interested, um, I will leave a link to an iPod 4 on Amazon or something in the description, you know, for music. Um, now, this is a very interesting topic to discuss because, just because of the software, um, iOS 4.1 is really, it's a long time ago, and I can't stress that enough because I was stunned when I got this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing is like either iOS 4 or 5 um, at the box, you know, it has the picture on the front, and I was stunned, honestly, I thought it was going to be at least iOS 6.0, so I took it out of the box, and when I turned it on, it gave me the iTunes logo, and I'm like, okay, this it can't be iOS 6, and iOS 5 even had the setup without iTunes, so that's when I knew it was iOS 4, and I'm like, this is great. Um, I just didn't know which version of iOS 4, and I didn't even, I thought maybe 4.2 or 4.3, but then I saw uh, 4.1, and I'm like, oh, shoot, I gotta keep this thing uh, protected, although it's not very protected, but um i don't i don't use this much so i keep it somewhere safe where it can't drop or anything um and of course i can put it down because i have the little uh, cover on the back so i can't get it scratched um so yeah music and video those are the, pretty much the two things that you can get out of this i guess you could you know maybe look at look at some of your photos you transfer them from itunes or your computer uh you know but it's definitely not worth the money if you expect to do anything else but music and videos. So, um, yeah. And just for the heck of it, I think we can actually take a look at the wallpaper selection of iOS 4 for that wave of nostalgia. Um, so we go here. Wallpaper, what is that picture? All right, so as you guys can see, this is um, a very interesting wallpaper selection. So... These are wallpapers we see in iOS 6 and 5. Um, these ones we also see in iOS 6, and the rest are scattered, like we see some of these in iOS 5 and 6 down here. Uh, we see the, the orange flowers that are right here. Um, we also have this little, whatever that is, it looks like wood or like the tree trunk. Um, the pink camo as well. But we have these iTunes photos down here which is really, really cool because these, they actually do not have an iOS 6 and I believe they removed a couple in iOS 5. I I might be wrong, but I'll have to double check on that. But look at the, the earbuds. This was uh, very interesting. This one's the blue. We have the guy over here with the earbuds. Um, we even have the Earth still, which was not in iOS 6. Um, this was, I think, removed in iOS 6. They have it in iOS 5, though. Uh, we have this other variation of a rose, it looks like, or is this just a flower? I'm not good with flower types, so could be any type of flower, but um, we have, it looks like mountains, really, really cool. So yeah, the wallpapers are very, uh, very nice selection, actually. I, kinda, I really do like these wallpapers, um, so yeah, come on, Apple, you, you guys gotta um, up the wallpapers, and I was 13, let's get some more in there. Um, so yeah. Uh, definitely not the most interesting wallpaper selection of all the iOS versions. I gotta say, iOS 7 had the most interesting selection of wallpapers, um, because, you know, we had so many of them, and a lot of them were just kind of weird for iOS, but, so yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and stay tuned for my next video. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed, see you guys later.